we have listeners that are doing their work on a stateside campus, and maybe they want to start seeing their efforts uh, on that campus to be a launching pad, to be a sending base. And how do you go about establishing a campus ministry in another country, in another city, another campus, where the need is probably going to be much greater there? Maybe the response is going to be much greater there than, <laughs> than even we experience here in the States. How do, how do you go about doing that? Yeah, great question, Shad. Um, you know, I think in a lot of ways it begins with instilling world vision into our U.S. ministries. Um, you know, that's one of our ministry principles. It's kind of our 10th of 10 ministry principles. We say we want to mobilize to God's global purpose. Mm-hmm. And so really from the time that um, men and women come to Christ, you know, on one of our U.S. campuses, we're helping them to realize that God's heart is for the nations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that the Great Commission is a global you know, commission and that uh, we want to steward our lives with this for the sake of God's glory, you know, and for his name to be made great, you know, among the nations. And so we want to instill that whether someone ever leaves, you know, the, the county that they were born in or not, we want every one of our graduates to have a heart, you know, for the world. Mm-hmm. And so, so instilling that within the students, we also have those who sense God's leading them. To the nations. And as I mentioned earlier, we partner with a lot of mission agencies and we're sending a lot in a variety of different capacities. But over the years, we have wanted to plant, you know, uh, college ministries overseas uh, mm-hmm. as well. We've done that in a variety of different places. We have several teams uh, that kind of our region is directly connected to in South Asia, you know, right now that are working um, with different universities uh, in that South Asian country. Um, but they're also, because of the absence of local churches there, uh, they're also kind of planning churches, even as they're doing, you know, college ministry uh, as well. And then, Shad, you mentioned uh, the Philippines. I know you've been over there as well, and, and you have been significantly influential in, in our team there as well. You know, as, as we were trying to think through other countries, we did a lot of research, uh, looked at a lot of the different metrics, and, and just tried to discern what's a strategic country. You know, where are there a lot of college students? Where is there a lot of need? Where is there a lot of opportunities, not just for disciples to be made, but for laborers to to be raised up? And the Philippines is one of those countries that uh, we really uh, identified and kind of came to the top of the list. And uh, my wife and family and I, we actually got to be a part of that initial launch back in uh, 2017 and Mm -hmm. 2018. So we got to spend a good season over there as well. And it really is amazing. Uh, to see graduates and laborers from the U.S. go into the nations, but it really is even more amazing to see God then raise up, you know, disciples and laborers from those college campuses Mm, mm. all around the world who then in turn take the gospel to their families, take the gospel to their, you know, uh, country, to their spheres of influence, and subsequently to other countries. It's one of the reasons why we were so excited about The Philippines is just the diaspora of Filipinos going throughout the entire 1040 window. And they're just naturally Mm -hmm. going there. Our heart is to instill, you know, uh, just a heart to labor Mm -hmm. into a people who are already going. And uh, and so we're we're trusting that God will continue to do that in South Asia and the Philippines and multiple other countries, even over the next uh, five to 10 years. We're already investigating other cities, other countries, and excited to uh, to see God plant more campus ministries, not just for the sake of campus ministries, but for the sake of building laborers mm. um, who can be used by God to impact mm. the world. 